Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode six of True Detective. What'd you think of the last episode? Insane. Like all of them. Yeah. Like yeah. it felt like we watched like an entire movie. Yeah. In an hour. There was a lot that was kind of revealed. Mm -hmm. We talked at length about it last episode, but there's not that much left. And I think it could go in a lot of different directions still. I was anticipating them revealing that they caught this guy or whatever, like closer to the end. There's gotta be so much more going on with the years between that Russ was still tracking this murderer. Right, and that's what we assume. I mean, yeah. he showed up at the crime scene photo, so mm -hmm. he's got to still be on this case. Yeah, so I am very invested. I'm super <laughs> excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. We gotta get back to the church, right? I would assume so. We haven't yeah. seen them in a while. I mean, we really only saw that church for like the first 10 minutes of one episode. Yeah. I'll check back with you in about 20 minutes. Oh, these are the two guys with his daughter. We got you on stash rate. You know that, right? Uh -oh. oh, no. I'm gonna fuck them up. Look at that. Oh no. Y'all wanna step out a bit? Oh my god. No, sir. <laughs> Good answer. I think that you're a little angry right now. Tell me how I feel. I wouldn't even say a word. Other than I'm sorry over and <laughs> over and over again. Please don't kill me. Oh my god. Come on. The gloves. That was rough. Yeah, your turn's coming. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. All right. Oof. I would have well, charged him anyways. Kick the shit out of him and then still charge him. Nobody is going to go near his daughter. Oh. Yeah, he had to be feeling all the emotions in doing that. Yeah. It's probably never been so personal for him. Yeah. Started working something that uh, I didn't know about. I'm with the state police department. Well, if you're Terry Guidry, I'd like to talk to you about your boy. Where'd Sonny go to school? Queen of Angels. That's that school that was shut down? It's like church. Hey man, look, why don't you just get out of here? Jeez. I don't want to get arrested, just, just get. You don't want to talk about something, it's okay. Whoa, Maggie's in the building. We need to know about Rustin Cole in 2002. I mean, he was your husband's partner. Russ, yeah, I knew him. Something bad happened. Maybe Cole's involved. I knew Russ to be a good man, so I can't imagine what I can offer. Huh. But she's got nothing against Rust either. I mean, I always thought they were good friends. Yeah. Can I help you with anything, sir? Please, I was thinking about this one. Is he getting bored? I don't understand what's happening. I, just, I don't know. I feel like he's like bored of his life. Going and doing chores and errands mm -hmm. and stuff. He misses that excitement. And she looks like a young Maggie again. Big weekend planned? Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cop, aren't you? How'd you know? I think I saw you before, years back. You came around this place I was staying, asking about a girl. Oh! She looked familiar. Is she the like the young prostitute that he gave money to and was like, do something else? Oh, maybe. She did look familiar, but I thought it was maybe from something else, not from this. Yeah, because that was like, at this point, like seven years ago. Yeah. Look at her working at T-Mobile. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the church leader. You always hit the bottle this early in the day, Reverend. If he's still a reverend. I came to see you. To Revival 10, January 95. What do you know about a Tuttle organization was set up to finance rural schools? Accusations of children being interfered with. Hmm. I never found anything on that. It was kept internal. Why'd you leave? Bureaucracy. Politics. Don't lie to me. Yeah, he knows something. <laughs> I knocked over a very old volume, The Letters of Telios de Lorca. When I picked up the book, this little folder falls out. 
Uh-oh. Pictures of children. Naked. Looked like they were sleeping. And what'd you do? Took it over to the morals officer, Deacon Farrar. He even intimated that maybe I was confessing to something. Jeez. He promised to look into it. My life, I want to be near to God. And the only nearness, silence. Wow. He was a little suspicious, kind of, when we first saw him, but based off of that... Got a straight job. It was so great how you turned everything around. The universe forgives all. He's about to make a real dumb decision. That was, like, very specific, what she was saying. Like, I wonder if she's part of, like, a... Yeah, it sounded like she was getting preached that over yeah. and over and over again. I mean, he's single now, right? No, he's still with Maggie. Oh, is he? Yeah, this uh. is in 2002. This Maggie might find out about her. That might be the final break. Sid. It's an old word, but it's what happened to Jessica. Oof, she looks rough. You're first, they said. Autopsy showed no signs of trauma, so. Two kids with Sid's? Honestly, don't even know what Sid's is. Just sudden infant death syndrome. There's no reason they just die. Oh my god. Yeah, it's terrifying. Jesus lady, you ever hear of a fucking condom? Who controls Sid? Speaking of condom, I wonder if he was wearing one with that girl. I kind of thought that too, actually. Moon child and my proxy. The sleep apnea monitor and the soap up to his child was unplugged. And by that time, the child's vitals had flatlined. Oh no. Charmaine, I need you to talk to me about some things. I didn't think there was any way that that could happen twice, let alone three times. It's not like some random thing. She killed. It sounds like she killed the child. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if she killed all of them. Right, all three. The newspapers are going to be tough on you. If you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. Holy crap. <laughs> That was, I mean, I remember the other guy when he was like, yeah, it was your fault. You shouldn't have shown the other guy the pictures, but that was next level. Just like straight up kill yourself. This evil bitch. That was so dark. Marty, type that up for me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you got somewhere to be? This confession is like 40 pages. <laughs> hey. I mean, this is probably hitting him pretty hard. Yeah. You need to go home to the family and play with the kid. Don't get up my ass just because you ain't getting any. You should have held on to your woman. Do I get people to talk? You read the stats. It's worked out well for you so far. Oof. You know what it's like being your partner? Fuck you. No, buddy, without me, there is no you. Holy crap, Rust. He's on one today. This is the girl. That they found, I think. Oh, from the, uh, like, trailer or whatever? Yeah. You may not remember, but you and I met a long time ago. Do you remember if there were more than two? The man with the scars. What scars? The giant. The giant? The scars on the giant were there with on his face. <laughs> Jeez. Riling up people, opening old cases. The man with the scars. And he was a giant. I mean, they did get a description at one point with someone who had shiny, like, scarred skin. I can't decide if it's a cover-up or the garden variety incompetence here. It's happened in the same area where those schools were set up. Founded by Billy Lee Tuttle. Fuck, before we even got started on the case, he took it over. Why? I didn't even realize that the Tuttle was that guy who came in. I didn't either. I didn't put that together. Stupid. <laughs> you want to stay on? Do not ever, ever say that to anyone in the state again. No more visiting victims' families. You will stop trying to turn missing persons into homicides as you do not have any bodies. Maybe that's why he, he's gone, because he's getting ordered to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's probably most pissed, too, that he knows he's cheating on Maggie again. Tuttle overdosed. Accidentally, suppose. Oh. You mentioned that already. Tuttle's house in Shreveport was broken into. Man's house gets broken into right after Cole turns back up in the state. He never left. He's been right here doing bad things a long time. I think he's been investigating a long time. Whatever Rusty is or was or became, don't call me again. 
He doesn't want to be a part of taking Russ down. Yeah. Being chased? Someone's trying to get his attention. Is it Rust? Is she going to find a clue in the laundry? Was that what she was, what he was wearing? Marty, I didn't know you were home. I'll heat up something. You were right. They really brighten up the yard. I'm sure she's always been super suspicious of him. Mm-hmm. Don't you think, you and me? B. Movie. Oh, you idiot. Poor Maggie. Seriously, gave him another chance. This is gonna be super awkward. Thanks, man. Thanks. Is she like spitting it? <laughs> it's like poison or something. Oh no, this is even scarier. <laughs> what? Nothing. I love you. Thank you. Oh, come on. How do you not see that? That there was no such thing as forgiveness. That people just have short memories. Uh-oh. It's time for her revenge. Goes out on the night in a red dress. Get your drink, miss. Vodka martini. Extra dirty. She still has her ring yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Margaret. Bruce. Hi. Hi. Not looking at her hand. <laughs> Rust was an intense man, but he had integrity. Not a lot of responsible people in the world. I mean, she got along with Rust immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rust... Always came off as just odd, but he was a good person. The Wellspring program, mid 80s through the early 90s. You, you got any files, list of faculty? See all the schools dissolved with the program. Well, there's our archives. Literally no, no information. I think I should put you together with one of our clerical workers and see if they can't help you find something. Have you or Austin Perrar? That was very, very unfortunate. We elected to handle it internally rather than pursuing formal. That's not what happened. It's hard to trust a man who can't trust himself with a beer. But what's this all about, uh, um, Austin Farrar? Dead women and children. <laughs> Came right out with it. Steve, would you show the detective to our old archives? I'm gonna come back for that. Reverend, <laughs> thank you for your time today. You'll be in my thoughts. <laughs> I'm sure. Should be nervous. I've been thinking about something all week. Uh, like what? <laughs> like what? I want you to fuck me in my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why'd you talk to Billy Lee Tuck? And you, look, you look like you haven't seen your own bed in a couple of days now. <laughs> Cut the shit! It's done. Badge and gun call. Just quit right here. That's it. Yeah, fuck that department. Is this Maggie? I think so. I can't live with it. Did you know? No. Uh, I think he probably kind of did. I feel like he knows everything. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to hide stuff from Rust. You know, people give me advice. I reckon they're talking themselves. What are you doing? I have no idea what he just said. People, no matter where they look, they see themselves. When people give advice, they're talking about themselves. <laughs> yeah. This is bad, but I don't know how much I blame either of them. I mean, Marty deserves all of it. I mean, he's been a shit to both of them. Like, that's like instant regret. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I mean, she brought a bottle of wine. I almost went with him. I was a stranger at a bar. Oh, he won't live with it. This will hurt. Get the fuck out of here right now. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. I have so many thoughts right now. Yeah. I mean, she wanted to get revenge. And she specifically wanted rust. Yeah, because it would hurt him the most. So you're split with Marty. That had nothing to do with Cole. I think he's absolutely going to find out, and I think that's why they're not partners anymore. <laughs> Tell you something. I saw the pictures on your phone. Oh, nice right. ass, Marty. Bitch. Slept with someone. Oh. He said someone. And you know him. Uh oh. You're close. Ugh. It was Rust. Oh. I fucked your partner, Rust. Okay. Yep. Yeah. She straight up told him. What the fuck are you saying to me? I already told you. 
To tell you the truth, I haven't been fucked like that since before the girls. Oh. Oh, Rust. I mean, Marty. Do it! At least I'll have something to explain to your daughters. Coward. Oof. That was heavy. Rust better be gone. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised he didn't just snap. Because he's snapped so many times before. And this has got to be one of the worst ones. Cole's outside. Does he know he's suspended? Uh-oh. Here we go. Yeah. So you don't do something too stupid. I think Russ is ready to fight too. It's coming from my files, Marty. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Russ, kick his ass. Look at that nobody's stopping that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he could just break his fucking arm right there. Is there anybody pressing charges? Not me. <laughs> I think Rust held back a lot. I quit. You serious? I send you a letter. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck this place. Fuck everyone here. Nice hook, Marty. <laughs> nice hook. Yeah, I think he was just trying to subdue him. I, I don't think, think he was ever really trying to hit him. I think if he wanted to, like, really strike him... Marty would be fucked. Yeah. What about when he quit? Any idea why? I never learned what it was about. Wow, so that is crazy how Marty is handling this current investigation. Yeah. Just quit. Oh, there he is. Him. Same old truck. Is this the first time they've seen each other in 10 years? Marty. Rushed. Long time. Long time. Change your hair? <laughs> now you beer? Sure. I'll follow you. Wow. <laughs> they have a lot to catch up on. Actually, why don't you buy me a beer? <laughs> oh, really? I mean, I guess if he's afraid, if there's any truth to Rust being a suspect, he really needs a new truck. That was a very cool shot. <laughs> All right, that was episode six of True Detective. What'd you think? I want to watch the next one. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, we got to the bottom of what happened. Fought each other over Maggie. I mean, it was a lot of things. Yeah. But mostly Maggie, but also every cop, the boss, everyone was just kind of being a shithead and not seeing what Marty was seeing. Rust. What Rust was seeing. <laughs> Yeah, and I just, I still find it so interesting that even Maggie, like none of them are like admitting to anything that really happened. Yeah, they're definitely all still keeping their stories very tight and they're not giving all of the details. They might all have different reasons for doing that or I don't know, but yeah, they're still very consistent on, you know, it's not like someone came in and said everything truthfully. Right. So that's very interesting because it honestly that was it like we saw the last time that they saw each other until this very moment so it's not like we they've communicated with each other in the past 10 years to be like hey touching bases on this case or how's it going with maggie or whatever yeah so that's super interesting that they just all happen to have the same story and crazy that marty has been so like i don't know i don't think really protective is the right word but respectful like just the way that he's been talking up rust to these two detectives after how it ended yeah yeah like that is like for the temper that this guy has on him that seems just crazy to me like i feel like there has to be something else there's got to be. I mean, we're two episodes left. There's got to be something more going on that we haven't been able to quite connect all of the pieces. Yeah. But what is it? I mean, the way that Rust and Maggie were so close and not necessarily affectionate, but you could see that there was chemistry between them yeah. from the very beginning. I always was under the assumption that at some point something was going to happen between them, but I honestly thought it would be something more like romantic like i thought that they would genuinely have feelings for each other not the way that it played out where maggie essentially kind of 
used Rust as a way to hurt Marty the most. And Rust, yeah, he banged her, but it was like you said, immediate regret. And he was like, what the fuck did we just do? And why did you like come on yeah, to me? Why, like, are you, why are you here? Obviously, both of them had a hand in it. Absolutely. But yeah, I was very surprised at how like, after it was over and Maggie was like, I'm sorry, like it had to be you. It was gonna be a stranger at a bar, but it had to be you. It was like, whoa, like that was really calculated. Yeah, I thought something was going to happen between them. I didn't think it would be the breakup between Marty and Rust. I thought maybe they would break up and years later or something like that, Rust and Maggie would reconnect or have a fling or something like that. That's kind of what I was thinking, but this was wild. Yeah. That was intense. And the fact that she just straight up like, sit down, I need to tell you something. I banged Rust. Yeah, I mean, she had to lead with, I saw the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so not that Marty didn't deserve it, but that was way intense. I did not think that they were gonna go there. No. And the way Marty reacted, like I honestly have very little faith in Marty in terms of him controlling his temper. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't do worse when he found out the news. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that he put his gun away. I kind of thought that, all right, like at least he would have the sense to kind of put shit away. Yeah. Because I think he even understands how crazy he gets. Right. I mean, this episode, I totally forgot about him kicking the shit out of those two teenagers too. Oh, right. That's how it started. Yeah. Like, and he was prepared for that. He had like gloves, so yeah. he wouldn't like probably bruise his hands and stuff. Like, yeah, this is like some premeditated right. stuff. Right. Not only is Marty able to be premeditated with his anger, but then he just snaps at anything pretty much. Well, not anything, but a lot of things. He yeah. does have a very short temper. Yeah. I feel like these next two episodes have to revolve around Rust filling in Marty on what he's found and then them somehow like getting back into it and trying to figure out who the actual murderer or murderers are because I feel like it has to get back to the case. Yeah, I'm really interested to kind of see them get back together after all this time. And like you said, Russ is going to definitely fill Marty in on what has he learned over these 10 years. Right. So I'm excited to get for them to get reunited, but that was, I know it's been a very long time and it seemed like relatively cordial for this first meetup, minus the gun. <laughs> right. I was going to say minus Marty having a gun and making sure it's loaded. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Obviously we're getting more information. It definitely seems like Tuttle is aware of a lot more. I think in current time, he's dead. I yes. think he overdosed, maybe. <laughs> After his house was broken into. Right, yeah. Just like that one person who killed himself in the prison cell after he got a phone call from his lawyer. Like, yeah. did Tuttle have a meeting with someone and they were like, you're done. Like, time to kill yourself. Yeah. So we're learning more. The church is obviously involved. They covered up that story of the, um, or not story, but they covered up the pictures of the naked kids. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's very bad things going on with this church. Mm -hmm. Does it stop at Tuttle or does it keep going past? I think that's what we're left to still figure out. And it's hard to judge like, are some of these cops back in 2002, are they part of it as well? Or are they just incompetent? I feel like it seems like they're not believing Rust and I feel like they're just ignoring all of these like red flags because it's Tuttle. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's gotta be one or the other. Either they're incompetent or they're in on it. I mean, the most logical is that they're just, like you said, it's Tuttle, they're old cases, why bother? They're closed, even if they're not like solved or there are no bodies. Why are you trying to turn someone missing into a, a murder? Like right. there is very little connecting things unless you're like rust and you see things in just a completely different way. Yeah. So it is understandable if they just didn't want to believe him, but I don't know. I mean, if, if all of this is happening and there's people dying and it seems as big as it is, it's gotta be more well connected than just one very rich, powerful person or something. Right. We keep getting clues and then kind of forgetting about them. Like we have been told in the past 
that there is a gathering of devil worshiping people who go and kill people but then we haven't revisited that or we right. did at one point get clues of the person was uh big and had scars like a scarred shiny face but there, we never went back to that until this episode. Right, now we're back. So I feel like it's going to rely on our memory a little bit more than we are good at remembering things. <laughs> there might be stuff that was, you know, blatantly put right in front of our face that just we forgot because it doesn't come into play until later. Right. So I'm sure this is going to still blow my mind. There's two episodes left. Honestly, anything could happen and I would believe it and I would also be shocked. I'm so excited. This is so good. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. With that, peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.